Hey and welcome to the Daily Arsenal News Show. Let's begin with our daily news. AC Milan interested in Arsenal forward Gabriel Martinelli. AC Milan are interested in Arsenal forward Gabriel Martinelli as a potential replacement for Rafael Leao, according to a report from Calcio Mercato Web. Leao is facing an uncertain future at San Siro. His contract with the Rossoneri expires at the end of next season and there is a lot of interest in the Portugal international. Reports from CalcioMercato.it claim that Liverpool, Chelsea and Manchester United all want the 23-year-old. Meanwhile, Tottenham are also admirers of the youngster. Milan still hope to agree a new contract with Leao, but it appears that they are considering potential replacements in case he does leave. And according to Calcio Mercato Web, one of the players that they hope to sign is Martinelli. The Brazilian was linked by sport with Barcelona on a Tuesday, and now the reports in Italy are suggesting that Milan are also fans of Martinelli. The report claims that Arsenal would want at least £52 million for the 21-year-old. It would be a big shock if Martinelli was keen to leave Arsenal for the Rossoneri, and it would be a massive surprise if the Gunners were willing to consider anything like £52 million for a sale. Martinelli is an absolutely remarkable talent. He has been a key player for the Premier League leaders so far this season. He is a special player. There would be sheer uproar in North London if Arsenal sold him for a figure anywhere near £52 million and despite Milan winning the Scudetto last season, it would be a surprise if Martinelli was open to making the move, particularly as he would be arriving at a time when Milan were losing their best player. Well, I don't think that Martinelli is going to leave Arsenal or Arsenal is going to let Martinelli leave anytime soon. A report from Brazil shares the true extent of Gabriel Jesus' knee injury. Arsenal star Gabriel Jesus has undergone surgery on his knee and a report from Goal Brazil has shared the true extent of his injury. The Brazilian has been one of Arsenal's best players this season. He is arguably the biggest reason why the Gunners are on top of the Premier League table, but now they will have to do without him for a while. Arsenal confirmed that Jesus has successfully undergone surgery on his knee, but the statement did not provide any more details on the nature of his injury or when he could return. The report from Brazil has shed some light on the situation for Arsenal fans, and it's not good news at all. It has been claimed that Jesus suffered a meniscus injury and a partial collateral ligament injury in his right knee at the World Cup. Thankfully for him, there was no break, but he still won't be back anytime soon. The report reveals that Jesus will be out of action for around three months. However, his return is also dependent on how his injury heals and how he recovers in the coming weeks. If the outlet's time frame is right, Jesus will only be back in March, which means he will miss around 10 games, including huge clashes against Tottenham Hotspur, Manchester United, and also his old club, Manchester City. That is a massive blow for Arsenal. The mid-season World Cup was always a massive risk because of potential injuries to key players, and Arsenal are now on the receiving end of it. The Gunners were truly transformed by Jesus following his arrival in the summer. He hit the ground running and took the club to a whole new level. His influence was so big that even when he went on a long goalless run, his contribution was huge, which makes him almost irreplaceable. Jesus' absence could really hurt Arsenal's season now. Their title dreams could come to an end unless Mikel Arteta dives into the transfer market to bring in a replacement. It will be interesting to see what Arsenal will do in January to fill in the massive void up top. Arsenal could recall Fuller and Balogun from loan in January. Arsenal are weighing up recalling Fuller and Balogun from his loan spell at Rams during the January transfer window, but 90 minute reports that they are reluctant to disrupt his progress. It does seem that Arsenal are keeping their options open ahead of the January window, and that includes what they shall do with Balogun. The incredible 21 year old has enjoyed a superb time in France thus far. In fact, he has scored 8 goals in 15 games in Ligue 1. Only 5 players have found the back of the net more often in the division. 90 minute reports that Arsenal have the option to bring him back to the Emirates in January, and it is something that the club 
have considered with the Jesus sidelines. However, the Gunners are also wary of bringing Balogun back while he is doing well in France. It is a tricky situation for Arsenal. They are in a title race in the Premier League and they will not want to pass up such an amazing opportunity. However, the Gunners benefited from leaving William Saliba to grow out on loan that was despite regular calls for Mikel Arteta to hand him his chance. Perhaps Saliba would have been ready sooner had he got the opportunity, but it's hard to argue in hindsight with how they handled the centre-back. Balogun is in a similar boat now, so it would be a surprise if they now decided to deviate from their plans. Juventus could target Albert Sambi Lokonga if Rabiu goes. Juventus could target Albert Sambi Lokonga as a possible replacement for Adrian Rabiu as Arsenal closely follow the Frenchman according to a report from CalcioMercato.it. The Gunners are one of the sides very interested in signing Rabiu. His deal at Juventus expires at the end of the season. CalcioMercato recently reported that Arsenal are one of the sides ready to meet his £166,000 a week wage demands along with Chelsea. Meanwhile, our rivals Tottenham are also admirers of the 27-year-old. Calciomercato.it is also now suggesting that Mikel Arteta's men are following Rabiu closely. Juve, meanwhile, could be prepared to sell him next month for up to £17.2 million, and it appears that could prompt Juve to look at one Arsenal player. The report claims that the old lady could be interested in Lokonga. Lokonga has had a tough time since moving to Arsenal in 2021. It seemed to be a coup for the Gunners when they brought the midfielder to the Emirates, given that he had already captained Anderlecht. Unfortunately, Arsenal fans are still awaiting the chance to really see the best of the 23-year-old. He played no part in Arsenal's final six Premier League games before the World Cup break. He has probably not been deployed in the best role for him. Lokonga looks better in a slightly more advanced position rather than as the anchor in the midfield. You would imagine that Arsenal will not be ready to give up when it comes to Lokonga. He looks to have a huge potential and there will be times when he is potentially needed. However, the Gunners may perhaps be prepared to keep an open mind, particularly if they end up signing Rabio in one of the coming windows. If Juve are prepared to put a substantial amount on the table, Arsenal may feel that they have been given food for thought. Tomiasso is unsure when he will join the rest of the squad in Dubai. The World Cup may still be going on, but Arsenal's first team have already returned to action. The Premier League is less than three weeks away, and Mikel Arteta has taken the squad to Dubai to get ready. With some of Arsenal's stars still in Qatar, Arteta has called up a number of young players to the squad. The Gunners have three friendlies lined up as they look to regain some much sharpness. Arteta will be especially keen to see how Eden Ketia gets on after the news that Gabriel Jesus has picked up an injury. There are still Arsenal players competing in Qatar who may not be eliminated in time to head to Dubai. One player who was knocked out was Japanese defender Takahiro Tomiyasu. However, speaking to The Athletic, Tomiyasu has admitted he is unsure when he will return to the Arsenal squad. The 24-year-old witnessed his side lose out on penalties to Croatia in a close fought last 16 tie. Speaking after the game, Tomiyasu was bitterly disappointed. He described his own performance as a disaster and struggled to see the positives from Japan's campaign. When asked when he would return to join the rest of the squad, Tomiyasu said, I don't know, hopefully I can get a bit of rest, I need time to forget about football, I need a bit of time. Arsenal will have set out Tomiyasu's return date, even if he is currently unsure, to allow him some time to rest. He will want to be back out on the pitch, fighting for a place in a title chasing side soon enough. Arsenal are still in with a chance of signing Yuri Tielemans. Arsenal haven't given up hope of landing Leicester midfielder Yuri Tielemans, according to Fabrizio Romano, who has spoken with Kaut offside. The Gunners have discovered that the Belgium star hasn't given his word to any other club despite fierce links with Barcelona. Tielemans is a wanted man. He is months away from becoming a free agent and with Leicester not in the best of form this season, he could be looking to leave the King Power Stadium. Arsenal are long-term admirers of the 25-year-old. They have tried and failed to sign the player previously, 
but now they will be delighted to discover that a move to Barca doesn't appear to be as close as anticipated. Tielemans looks almost certain to leave Leicester. He is highly unlikely to pen a new contract and a move to a club playing in the Champions League looks to be firmly in his sights. The man with 58 caps for his country signed for the East Midlands based club in 2019. He initially joined on loan with the Foxes making the move permanent in the summer of that year. Tielemans has become a bit of a cult hero at Leicester. He's made 175 appearances for the club, scoring 27 goals and registering 25 assists for the club and really showcasing his quality. Now, Romano thinks that Arsenal still have a great chance to sign the player in the future, he told Kaut offside. Tielemans has not given his word to any club yet. It's still open and he will decide at the right moment. Barcelona are linked to all the free agent players on the market as they always monitor the free agent market, but it's not something advanced as things stand. This will come as a pleasant news to Arsenal. They will naturally target some new players and perhaps they will make a move to sign him in January. If they did land him when the window reopens, it could be a move that suits all parties in the near future. For Arsenal, they would get a midfielder who could help them maintain their push towards the title and secure a Champions League place. As for Leicester, they would ensure they didn't lose one of their best players on a free transfer at the end of the season. Crazy bid required for Arsenal to seal a transfer of Premier League winner Leroy Sané. Arsenal would need to make a crazy offer to Bayern München to persuade them to sell Roy Sané, according to Fabrizio Romano, in today's daily briefing for Kaut Offside. Sané has been the subject of some transfer gossip stories in recent times, with Romano once again putting these stories to bed after previously dubbed King claims that the likes of Manchester United and Liverpool were in for the Germany international. It will be a tough deal for any club, and there are no offers on the Bayern table yet, Romano said a few months ago in relation to Man United and Liverpool links, and it seems it's a similar story for Arsenal. Discussing the latest Sané speculation today, the journalist said, There has been some speculation, but there are no talks between Bayern and Arsenal for Sané as of today. I don't see Bayern selling Sané in January unless a crazy bid arrives, their plan is to continue with him. This is a blow for Arsenal, who could really do with strengthening their attack again in the near future following the injury to Gabriel Jesus. Like Jesus, Sané is a former Manchester City player, whom Mikel Arteta will know well from his time working under Pep Guardiola at the Etihad Stadium, but he may have to look elsewhere for a new attacking player. Sané is a superb talent who has proven himself by winning two Premier League titles during his spell at City, whilst enjoying further success at the Allianz Arena. But it's therefore not too surprising that Bayern don't seem keen to let him go at the moment. I will be uploading daily Arsenal news, so keep your eyes on the channel and don't forget to like and subscribe. I appreciate your support. Peace out.